Hey you guys, it's Amy, and as you can tell, I'm in my kitchen. So today, um, y'all have been asking me to bake forever, and I've been saying, no, 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 I don't want to bake, but I think I'm going to bake today. Y'all have asked for it many, 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 many times. So yeah, I'm going to bake, and what I'm going to bake is... But instead of cupcakes, I'm making a regular cake. I'm not making cupcakes. And I got this from Walmart. And the things you'll need is this mix. Four cups of butter. I'm sorry, four tablespoons of butter. And half a cup of milk and two eggs. So, I've already got my pan sprayed. And the um, oven set to four or 350. So you will also need two tablespoons of milk and one tablespoon of butter. For the ganache and I haven't got that far I'm just gonna make this real quick so let's get started here's my mixing bowl let me get ganache ganache put the ganache aside Get my trusty scissors. I got my spoon. goes into it. One more egg. And make sure you wash your hands first, y'all. Because this is not. I wash my hands before the video. So then you want to get your milk, set that over to the side, and just mix. Make sure you split the sides and just mix it. If you have a mixture or anything, it will work better. Okay, so it's in my pan. Um, sorry, cut screen gear, the thing fell when I was mixing. So, and then I just poured it in this pan. So I'm going to pop that in the oven because the oven's ready now. I'm going to leave it in there for 16 to 20 minutes. And I'll be right back. So I'm going to use my hot hands to get it out of the oven. And I love these things. And this is what it looks like. Now put that over to the side. Let that stuff completely cool off before you start the ganache mixture. So I'll be back 
a little bit <laughs> and I'll have the ganache going okay in this bowl I have two tablespoons of milk and then I have a tablespoon of butter but that comes later um, first this is a microwave will say flow and I'm going to put my ganache mixture in this now this said it would be a thick mixture so Okay, and then after you do that, you microwave it for 15 seconds. So, let me go put it in the microwave. I'm going to keep stirring real quick. Have it all combined and then put it in the microwave for 15 seconds. And this is what it should look like. So, we're going to add our butter now. Get that all combined. So ganache is kind of like chocolate pudding or frosting. That's what it reminds me of the consistency of pudding. It's like thicker than icing when icing is melted. I don't know. Anyway, so we have our cake. And I just kind of drizzle all this ganache. Oh, goodness. Let's taste this ganache. So this is what the cake looks like now. Um, yeah, I tasted the ganache. Let's see. how the whole thing tastes. The mint is in the in the mix. Like the bread. The ganache stays like chocolate. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
I know a lot of y'all were asking me to do it. So here it is. And I will, I'm going to go clean up this mess. I will talk to y'all later. Have a nice day. Bye, YouTube. Subscribe.